Hi everyone. Today, I am at the retrospective exhibition of Kaburaki Kiyokata that has just opened here at the National Museum of Modern Art Tokyo. I had on my mind one of his most famous works, Tsukiji Akashicho Town. Her kimono has this subtle pattern called Komon, which literally means small pattern. I picked something of a similar color from the same period as the painting. Around the end of Taisho or the beginning of Showa era. And on top, I'm wearing the black Hauri coat. And here you see the sailing ship in the morning fog. And you also see it on my kimono here. Her hairstyle is the typical evening updo in the Meiji era. A bit different from the evening hairdo in the modern days, but I tried something similar today. You need to be very specific, as if you just ask for the evening updo, you only get the modern style. I sent a bunch of images from Meiji era to my stylist, so she knows exactly what I want. By the way, I have the scenery of Edo City on the lining of my Hauri coat. Yes, I bought the rolls of fabric and had it made. There have been several trends as to the length of Hauri coat. Right after the war, it was much shorter, and the longer one came in style in the recent years. I specifically styled myself to resemble this image today. Exactly, it's detachable. With kimono, you can really make your own customized look for every different occasion. This hair accessory is vintage, very old one. If you have a closer look at this painting, you spot many interesting details. She's wearing the ring here, she must have been very modern and sophisticated lady. I agree. It's somehow very strange and intriguing. She's barefoot and she's not wearing juba underwear. Normally, in the kimono styling, here there's supposed to be the color of juba underwear. Apparently, this way of styling without juba underwear very briefly came in style in Meiji or Taisho era, but it's really not common. And doesn't she look like she's in rush? Maybe hiding something in front? Her obi belt isn't even shown. What exactly is she wearing underneath? You would imagine multiple different scenarios, and it's very mysterious and strange. The more you look, the more you are drawn to it. So let's go and discover more. Kaburaki Kiyokata, the master of Japanese painting active through Meiji and Showa era, was born in 1878 in Kanda, Tokyo. He was highly acclaimed and best known for his Bijinga, the portrayal painting of women, but this exhibition also sheds light on his scenic paintings where the lifestyles of people and city view of Meiji era come alive. At the age of 13, he became the apprentice to the painter Mizuno Toshikata, and later he started his career as the illustrator, adorning the books of famous novelists such as Izumi Kyoka or Ozaki Koyo. People have their own way of appreciating art and for myself. My interest in kimono opened the door into the world of Japanese paintings. I love the way people dress in Meiji or Taisho era, and you don't find many photos from that time. And on top, they are black and white. The paintings are more resourceful as the recording documents, especially with the painters like Kaburaki Kiyokata or Uemura Shouen, as their works are very much detailed with the carefully chosen colors. My fascination about Kiyokata's paintings comes from my obsession with Meiji era, the time of unimaginable change with the Western culture pouring in, causing the intense chemical reactions, but the foundation of the society itself was still very much that of Edo period, I assume. Kiyokata, born in Meiji period, really lived all the dynamic time. Through his paintings, I see Meiji era coming alive. It's an exceptional opportunity to see all his masterpieces at once that I had only seen in the books. 
and nothing like seeing them with your own eyes. There's just so much to them that you won't know from the books. It's simply beyond fascinating. I love that from the paintings, I get to learn so much about lifestyles and dressing of the time. I am obsessed with all the details like kimono, hairstyles, and accessories. This ring she's wearing, and this bright light color here on her haori coat, and you would imagine maybe she's wearing the red obi as well. Her hairstyle draws your attention, and then you get to know that it's the typical evening hairdo of the time. This painting with the woman wearing her green summer kimono, underneath she's wearing juban underwear with the thistle flower motif, and you see the pattern through the sea fabric of summer kimono. Very delicate, sophisticated way of dressing. I love it, so inspiring. Just so much to take away. Many of them are really on view. Exceptional opportunity not to miss. Definitely. The more you see, the more details you discover. Even if you are not into a sitting kimono like myself, the exhibition is simply very enjoyable with the most beautiful paintings on view. The colors are magical. You would feel like a dream. Don't miss it. Thanks for watching. Please leave a comment and don't forget subscribe. See you soon again here on my channel.